This video will feature the M5 Core 2 and as a guest a Flipper Zero. Do you remember the Flipper's friend video? Well, the developer, the other one, started developing on the M5 Core because of it. He was looking for a similar device. That's amazing, right? And that's the spirit of this channel. It's all about inspiring you and growing together. The other one leverage the screen and the Wi-Fi feature of the M5 Core 2 to create an ethical Wi-Fi learning tool. It's designed to execute a karma attack by using Wi-Fi probes and guiding the target to a rogue access point on the device itself. In this video, we will walk through the process of installing the firmware and exploring its feature and understanding the attack scenario in depth. And bonus, it's a flipper friend. So we will be able to interact with our beloved pet. Before we can compile the Avil M5 core firmware, we need to add the M5 stack board management. Here's how, go to file, then preference, then settings in your IDE and paste the M5 stack board management URL. You will find it in the video description below into the additional board manager URLs field. Next, you need to navigate to tools, then boards, then board manager and type M5 in the search bar and hit enter. You should see M5 stack appear. Finish by clicking install. I spare you all the installation dependencies, but we are far from being finished. There is two more steps. First, let's specify the board. Go to tools, then board, then M5 stack, and then select M5 Core 2 from the list. My first compilation failed because I was missing one dependency, so I save you some time. Click on the field of book on the left, and then type M5 unify.h, and then hit install. I was too in a hurry, and I click upload, before even selecting a port to proceed. So for this entry, M5 core is plugged and then go on the left corner and click on M5 core 2 and then on the bottom, the list unknown and click it. In a new window, ensure the M5 core is selected among the boards. Finally, click on OK and then upload. I love when the plan comes together. Right after the successful flash, M5 Core 2 will restart and boot with the Evil M5. I am currently preparing for demonstration, but before that, I plan to flash a flipper dev board with the Evil Portal firmware. In addition, I have another dev board ready with the Marauder firmware. Both dev boards will be useful for various attack scenarios. They will come in the second video, so stay tuned. 